Virgos, welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxby. I am going to do your weekly love and general reading for the week of August 21st until the 27th. And those of you that are going to start celebrating birthdays, then have a happy, happy birthday. So Virgo, I am going to change it up for the next couple of weeks. Um, I know. I know you guys love the Oracle cards. A lot of you do. I love the Oracle cards. You know, they're very time consuming to pull. Um, so, till I get caught up on private readings, just for now, for a little while, you know, the next couple of weeks or so, I'm going to be doing it just a nine cards, a nine card spread. I'm going to use this week. I'll switch up the decks though. I'm using the Gilded. And, um, Anything that needs clarifying, I'm going to use the Everyday Oracle Sibylas. They're just real easy. They're straightforward. I'm going to pull one Romance Angels card and three of the um, Gilded Revere Lenormand cards. Both of these are actually by uh, Ciro Marchetti. And um, I'm going to, what I'm going to do is just like the Love Scope, you know, the first... You know, the strongest storyline that comes through, that's what I'm going to go with. Um, but the monthlies will always stay the same, Virgo. I will never mess with that. We'll always be the Celtic Cross. I'll go in depth with the, you know, meanings of the cards. But um, for the weeklies, for a while, I need to really just try to cut short in the videos. Um, and it still be, you know, productive and accurate for you guys. Those of you that are new, welcome. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to subscribe. All right, so Virgo. I have um, been praying over your cards for love, wealth, health, happiness throughout the week of August 21st to the 27th, 2017. They feel good. I also wanted to mention too, um, you know, those of you that would like to, um, all the links to all my social media, which is only Facebook and Instagram are listed below. Um, for those of you that you know, don't have Instagram and we're requesting, um, you know, that I do Instagram, I have done that. And every day I've been just uploading an Oracle card for the day. Um, so if you guys want to follow me, they have the links below, but my Facebook page, um, I am running a really nice contest. I'm giving away free deck, free um, choice of of three different decks of cards. So for those of you that want to get in on that, that would be awesome. I would love to have you there. All right. So there we go. We do start out with the Nine of Wands, the Knight of Wands. So, this week, I feel like there's a lot of, and this is going to be past, present, future too, okay? There's a lot, there's a lot of, I don't want to say this, unpredictability. Um, predictability. Things ha things that are going to happen that are just unexpected. There's a lot of unpredictability. Unpredictability. That's what I'm the word I'm looking for. My goodness, unpredictability. Um, you know, in the past, things have probably been going on that were, you know, like really just out of your control. You know, and this is probably made you feel really uneasy and I also see conflict at work here I think you have been wanting to change like wanting to change probably from this instability or this work situation you know, and all of these things have really been on your mind in the past. You 
you know, in the past, you know, there, there was definitely a new beginning with the Four of Wands. But I feel like this is something that really hasn't happened yet. You know, but this is something that, like, you're feeling very restless about. Like, you're not acting yourself. I feel like there's a lot going on. Feeling very restless, but just like really going on mentally for you. I feel like you're trying to detangle things in your head. You know, and then after that, you know, you have the Five of Swords. So, I definitely... Definitely conflict. And I do feel that this, that the instability in your past actually could create some of this conflict and your mental anguish has probably you know, turned verbal for some of you. And when for others... I feel like it, it could be in internal conflicts. This work conflict really has you stuck in your head. Plus your, uh, your uneasy feelings adding to all that. And your emotional, the uneasy and emotional feelings is just making it worse. Oh, sorry, Virgo. And then you have the Seven of Cups. So again, you know, with this card, confusion, temptation, for some of you. But for most of you, a lot of conflicting issues going on in your life but none of them are catching your attention. It's like you're running from one thing to another. You're not finishing anything here, Virgo. It, you know, it's, it's like, listen, you, you need to just pick one. The one that's most important to you and focus only on that. I mean, I know, listen, I'm a Virgo too. I know that sounds completely obvious. And it, I mean, it is, but I get it. But that's what I'm getting here. You know, only one, I mean, think about it realistically. Again, easier said than done. You know, only one or two is really um, realistic. You know, in the, with the Nine of Swords, you're in your head about it. You're overthinking, overanalyzing, you're worried, it's keeping you up. It's all hours of the night, you know, you're losing sleep. Well, either some of you are really trying to set really high standards for yourself and, and that's difficult, you know, when you're wrapped up in all these thoughts, emotions, you know, you're trying to do too much and you're over, you know, overthinking everything. Let's just clarify them together right now. Let's just see what it is because I'm very curious. For Virgo, the Seven of Cups, and the Nine of Swords. What's the big all about? Please show me for Virgo. August 21st to the 27th, 2017. All right. 
has to do with love. A big love. Well, they're loyal. Absolutely. Very loyal. Could be a friend. But they're married. That's the problem. Okay. I get it. Not that that resonates. I mean, don't, don't misunderstand. But, you know, I get it. So... be dealing with an Aquarius, maybe an Aries, Leo, Sag. Maybe a water sign. You want to leave all this shit behind you. Uh, emotionally, whatever. It's, I'm, I'm gathering. It's a relationship. Uh, I'm going to assume it is. Um... It's just not emotionally serving you anymore. But I think for the majority of you. I know this change probably is just internal. You know, this change you know, could possibly be internal. That could be possibly just what you need right now. You know, is just... need that eternal change, but I think for the majority of you, this has to do with a love situation. You're really stressed about it. Um, now, moving into the future, there's definitely going to be a decision made. For sure. Hopefully. Because I do feel, you know, and if it's not you, it could be this person that you're dealing with. You know, one of you, somebody has definitely come to a crossroads in, in their life. But, but you know, whether it's you or the other person, I'm going to, you know, it's your reading, so I'm going to say it's you. You, know, you, you will find that, that internal balance that's really probably what you need this week. You know, seek that eternal peace first. Because I do still see struggles here. Sorry, Virgo, but I do. You know, you're searching to find balance. And I'm feeling for some of, for some of you, like, that you need some sort of a meditation. A complex problem Definitely needs meditation here. But you're finally you're finally gonna come to an end to this struggle. You know, with the six of wands. You know, unfortunately there's still someone opposing you here. But you will be able to walk away from this person or this person could walk away from this wife. This is a woman. This is a wife. This is gender for me in this deck. So it's definitely a man choosing. It's definitely a woman choosing between two men. For sure. And this is going to be gradual. It's it'll be eventual. It could because it could be because of this meditation. You know, they need to you need to gradually just either leave you alone or the other person alone. For the majority of you, this will be gradual, I'm sure, not not immediate. But the Six of Swords does tell me that, you know, you, you're going to move away from this turbulent, toxic shit. You really are, for sure. To more calmer, peaceful times, you know, you're... you're 
You're leaving these troubled times behind. You know, notice it is a woman. You know, she's taking what she has. I mean, I'm sure she has her children. But she's taking what she needs. And she's going. She's leaving, you know, behind what just no longer serves her. You know, and it married the four of wands. Um, definitely going to move away from this. You're going to be much, you're going to, you're going to be, you're going to become much more clearer about this too. I know that this entire reading is, is mostly about what's going on in either your head or that, or their head, but it's because there is. I mean, it, if not you, it's them. But they will figure things out eventually. And things will really become much more clearer. For sure. <clears throat> so sorry, Virgo. I mean, there's definitely love here. Definitely. You know, and, and they're absolutely loyal. You know? Or you are. But however it resonates, they're definitely loyal. Alright, let's get some love cards. As soon as I grab a drink, I was dying. Okay, for Virgo. Love messages for Virgo. August. Romance Angels card. And a Magical Times Empowerment card by Jody Berksma, just for additional guidance. The Clover and the Rider. Okay. I like it. Okay. Mm, all right. Let's talk about the mice. So, the mice, this would be like annoying pests. Very hard to get rid of. You know, this re represents like destructive behavior, frustration, sadness, and in love it could represent, you know, annoyance, fatigue, worry in love. We we definitely see that here, so it fits. So you're definitely worried. Um, in love it. it it could represent an ending of a relationship that's just eating away at you. Your thoughts could be doing the same thing, like just eating away at you. And I think they are. I see that here. But with the clover, you know, it makes sense. You know, you have those butterflies in your stomach. It's that nervous excitement. Um... You know, I don't always relate the Nine of Swords as bad. No, and it's a confusing situation. You know, look at the moon in the background, too. You know, a three-party situation is absolutely confusing. But somebody's definitely walking away from it. Either emotionally or literally. I'm starting to feel literally. You know, this is a very, very lucky card. 
But also with this card, again, you could get caught up in your head. Like it's more just, it's more distractive in your head with the mice, but with the clover, you have absolutely nothing to worry about. I feel like this is, you know, a new relationship that some of you could absolutely be getting into. And it is, it's that, it, it's that nervous excitement, butterflies in your stomach, maybe feeling a little bit uneasy about it because you're not sure where it's going. You're not sure where it's going to, it's going to go. You know, but this card is saying that everything will be okay. You know, there's excitement in the air. You know, all of the butterflies in your stomach, that's a really nice feeling. You know, the clover does represent happiness in the short term too. Like I know I talked said before that I didn't think that, but I do think for, for some of you, this could happen instantaneously, like two days, two weeks at the longest, like really fast, just totally out of the blue. Um, just unexpected, a, a really nice, unexpected turn of events. You absolutely could meet somebody this week and it's a complete surprise. It's happiness, luck, good fortune. And then with the writer, it's good news again. I love it. The writer is about movement, messages, you know, coming in, delays are over. You're definitely going to meet someone new. Someone new is just going to literally ride right into your life. Let's see. Oh, I can't make this crap up. You, This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. Virgo. Listen, get out of your head, guys. I know. I'm a Virgo, too. I'm the same damn way. Oh, it kills me. Why do we worry so much? And you know what? Not, most of the time it is over stupid shit. It is. We worry. We are. We worry more than any sign in the Zodiac. I, I'm my sign to a T. Like I'm a perfectionist. I, I mean, it kills me. It kills me. But it's who we are. It, it just is. Um... There's nothing to worry about. Instead of, I do do this and it does work. And for as crazy as it sounds, instead of worrying about your, your problem, like breathe in and out and concentrate and focus on your breathing. I'm, I swear to God, it helps. I kid you not. I would, I'm thinking to myself, they're going to think I sound crazy. But if you, but seriously, just the proof is in the pudding here, guys. I mean, this, this looks beautiful. Breathe, breathe, focus on the breathing. It's coming. It really is. Breathe. <laughs> Happiness. Come on. I cannot make this up. Listen. I could have just saved myself two minutes of telling you all that. Immense delight can be found in the smallest of things. Cultivate fluttering moments of joy. The butterflies in your stomach, guys. I love it. I can't make this up. Spirit's amazing tonight. And you know, and I can honestly say it is nine o'clock at night. I don't know what happened to me. At 1 o'clock, I just like passed out on the bed. I I never, ever, ever do that. So I'm, I'm like wide awake. I'm in a good mood. And I know I'm talking like a nut, but this is just way beautiful. And you guys are my second sign. This is great. I don't think I'll do them all tonight, but 
This week, you're going to give yourself permission to be happy. You are going to laugh and laugh and just really laugh and be happy some more. You're going to literally, literally, listen, you're going to spread your wings of, of joy and soar. You're going to let go of the past, of this worry crap that you're doing, and live in the present moment. Because you're beautiful, you're smart, you're cre and creative, and your heart, you're, you're on, on a journey towards really ultimate happiness. Wow. That's just beautiful, Virgo. I can't not make that crap up if even if, even if I tried. I mean, I would never do that, but I mean, that just, that went so beautiful. Virgo, I love it. Leave your comments on that, really. I love to read your comments. I know I don't always get back to them, but I do read them. I just, um, yeah, I'll be all right. I'm so excited for you guys. I don't even know what I'm doing. I may not respond to all of your comments, but I really do read them all. I really do. And um, it's going to get better. I have somebody helping me with my emails so I don't lose anybody. Um, yeah, I'm going to have, I'm going to have, uh, I have help now. Thank God. Okay, Virgo, thank you so much. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, I would so much appreciate it if you did. Thank you, truly, from the bottom of my heart. I love you guys so much. All right, have a blessed, beautiful week. Until I see you next time, take care. Bye-bye.